The IAF is one of the oldest organizations in all of space. It was founded in the, in the middle of the Cold War. And the people who founded this organization did a fantastic job of bridging cultures, of bridging generations, and we need to make a future that is worthy of the past and the efforts that people have put in to make the IAF the organization that it is today. An IAF 3G international platform for diversity and equality in astronautics, or IAF 3G ID for short, shall be created to enable us to take a leading role in the effort to promote and advance diversity and equality across the global space community. I think that the 3G IDEA initiative is um, a long time in coming and now is the, exactly the right time for this initiative. I applaud President Legal for having made this part of his president's agenda for the next three years. So the president of the IAF proposed to discuss in his term about 3G diversity, meaning gender, geography, and generation. And I'm personally very much supporting this because all three aspects uh, are important not only for IAF, uh, not only for space, but for our society in all. So I, I think the 3G IDEA uh, platform is a very important forum where people meet and exchange their expertise, exchange their views, they can exchange their methods and that we uh, can really have the best tools in order to improve the situation for women in the space industry and in space science. The challenge with leadership diversity uh, is that it, you have to take a multi-pronged approach. You need to have suitable policies, structures, procedures in place to encourage diversity. So gender is of course an issue, especially in the field where engineering is strong because we have a deficit of women in, uh, that, uh, in that area. I think something uh, what, um, what changes obviously is that there are much more women in uh, universities, in academia, uh, and uh, it will take time until these women take leadership positions in uh, space research, in the space industry, in space agencies. And we have to make this transition worthwhile, we have to help them and we have to try to accelerate uh, this kind of movements that women uh, can be there faster. You need to make sure that there are opportunities uh, for people from diverse backgrounds to make their careers. The worst thing you can have really in an organisation or any entity is a sort of monolithic single mindset that there's only one way to do things. What I've always seen is that uh, the most creative, uh, the most um, uh, balanced uh, and the most, at the end, the most efficient teams are those where there is a mixture of people and this is why diversity benefits organization because you need different people they bring different things not only intellectually but also in terms of culture in terms of way of working geography this is uh, what i'm always calling the global cooperation so we need to cooperate worldwide any form of co cooperation we start from people to people contact and exchange so to understand the difference of a social system way of thinking social value, mode of exp expression, and life experience, and to formulate the reasonable and responsible misuse to change the confrontation and the contradiction into recognition and formula. Japanese social system is designed for the man work, man work, outside for 24 hours and <laughs> the women should stay and support them. So, but now the change and the, uh, the social system is now changing. Being modest is our value. But, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Japanese people respect each other and so the women put the man in the highest position, highest regard. This is not a discrimination, it's a kind of uh, culture, culture uh, things. So uh, I think uh, it's through the cultural diversity enhanced innovation. So we should embrace both the traditional value and uh, the modern professional women's lifestyle. 
in countries, especially developing countries, that are just beginning to be or are on the verge of being space-faring nations, what can be done to ensure more gender balance from the outset? And the answer is 3G is the key. In my view, the young generation is at the core of 3G diversity. We have different competencies in different ages. So we have so-called fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. And this is different in age. And by combining young and old, so not only looking to the young, not only looking to the experienced one, by looking to both of that at the same time, we can gain some things. We need to invest in the long term in talented people with good education. Youth in developing countries need support in education. Good education for youth means fostering economy and granting access to good qualifications. It is also key to remember that young people, including women, are the leaders of tomorrow. If you are successful at 3G diversity, then there is no room for discrimination. There is no room for a minority opinion. So I'm not here to help you work on your diversity. I'm not here to help your organization see things differently. This is really about us. It's about each of us individually. It's about me as a person, how I go about my daily life, and how do I see beyond the impressions that are in front of me? Whether it's the color of your skin, whether it's the suit you have on, whether it's how you wear your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, 